Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with the AP uh, Calculus 2006 free response questions, and we're looking at number four here. So rocket A has a positive velocity, V of T, after being launched upward from an initial height of zero at time t equals zero. The velocity of the rocket is recorded for the selected values of t over the interval zero to 80 seconds, as shown in the table above. Find the average acceleration of rocket A over the time interval zero to 80 seconds. Indicate units of measure. Okay, the average acceleration is just simply the change in velocity over time. That's what average value would be, the average acceleration value. Okay, so um, V of 80 is 49 um, feet per second minus V of 0, which is 5 feet per second, divided by 80. It's equal to 44 over 80. And that's equal to um, divided by 4, 11 over 20 feet per second. I'm just going to leave it as fraction because this is the non calculator portion. So um, I don't want to do that. To, to, I don't want to convert the decimal. It's like 0.55, I guess. But Using correct units, explain the meaning of the integral from 10 to 70 V of T dt in terms of the rocket's flight. Um, this integral, if I'm going to do the area under the velocity curve, is the change in position, is the change in position. Don't use distance traveled. It is not the distance traveled. It's simply the change in position from 0, from 10 seconds to 70 seconds. OK? And the reason you don't want to say it's the distance traveled is you don't know that, um, well, I guess its velocity is generally increasing, so I guess it doesn't change signs. But in principle, um, if V of T ever went negative during the portion, you don't know, then then it wouldn't be the same as um, the change in distance, right? Or uh, distance traveled. Use a midpoint Riemann sum with three subintervals equal length to approximate 10 to 7. So I'm going to do from 10 to 70. And I want to do three intervals. So that the total interval width is 60. That means each one needs to be 20. So I need to go from 10 to 30, then 30 to 50, then 50 to 70. All right, and I'm approximating the area. Now to approximate the area, uh, I want the width of each. I want to do the um, their big their rectangles, right? The height, the width of each rectangle is 30. So it's equal to 30 times the height of this rectangle, I use the midpoint. So I use 22. So this is 30 um, seconds times 22 feet per second plus 30 seconds times the midpoint of this rectangle would be 35 feet per second. Then this is, uh, uh, oh, this, this is not 20. This is 20, these, are, these are 20 seconds. I don't know what I'm thinking. 20 seconds times this midpoint, which is 44 feet per second. Oh, I hate it when it does that. So then I just simply multiply all these out. So this is 44 feet plus 70 feet. No, so, oh, this is not 44. This is 440 plus 700 feet plus 880 feet. So 880 plus 4 is what? 1320. 1320 for plus this is 2020 feet. That's my approximation. Rocket B is launched upward with an acceleration of this uh, feet per second per second. At time t equals zero seconds, the initial height of the rocket is zero feet, and the initial velocity is two feet per second. Which of the two rockets is traveling at faster at times t equals 80? Explain your answer. Ooh, interesting. Um, OK, so um, OK. So we know that at uh, two, what, what seconds? At uh, at 80 seconds. At 80 seconds, this is moving at 49 feet per second. So I want to compare it to rocket B. The velocity of rocket B is the, is the integral of A of T dt, right? And I want to go from 0 to, well, I would just do it like this. OK, so I want to do the integral. Oh, man. The integral 
of 3 over the square root of t plus 1 dt. Okay. By doing a u substitution for t plus 1, this is, I can bring the 3 out. This is 3 integral of du over the square root of u. Right, and that's that's u to the negative one half. So when I integrate that, that becomes um, the integral of this. I add one half to the exponent, u to the one half divided by one half. That's equal to two u to the one half. So this becomes three times two, six u to the one half, which is equal to six root t plus one plus c. Now I do know that at zero, now to find this constant, I know at time zero, it has to equal two. So when I plug in zero, I get six square root of one plus C, that's equal to six plus C. So six plus C, that means C would have to equal um, negative four. So my final solution for the velocity of T is equal to um, six root T plus one minus four. And so then I, um, I plug in um, 80, 6 root 81 minus 4. Root 81 is 9. 6 times 9 is 54 minus 4. It's equal to 50 feet per second. And as you can see, rocket B is going faster. That was terrible writing. I shouldn't have written that out. B is going faster. OK, cool. So let's take a look at question four. 11 over 20 feet per second squared. Did I write that right? Because it is acceleration. Oh, I messed up. Should be squared. Um, hope I don't get it totally wrong for that because um, it's only worth one point. Um, 20, 20 feet. I got that right. Um, and V of B of 80 is going 50, which is greater than 49. So rocket B is going faster. So I hope you found that helpful. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.